Hi, this week we look at workspaces in Cubase with really the sole purpose of using them as a proxy to assign a plugin window to a key command. So I often get asked if you can assign plugin visibility. So let's say I have span here. Can I assign this to a key command? So every time I press that key, this GUI pops up. Technically, you can't do that. However, you can create a workspace, which means that it does as a workaround. So let's give an example of that here. I'm going to close this just so you can see the example. I have my default project set up as follows. When I do Shift I, I have the project on the first screen, the timeline. And then on the second screen, I have the mixer. However, I typically use, I like to use span a lot to put a reference track on there. I have that one assigned to I. So when I press I, we have the project on main monitor and then span on the second monitor. So let's just give an example of that. At the moment, if I do shift I, that brings up the mixer as my default, or if I do I, it puts span there. Let's set one up. I like to use uh, tonal balance also quite a bit. Which I have it here, here. So let's set one up like this. We go to workspaces, add a workspace. You can set it up as a global workspace or a project workspace. Global, global means that it's applicable to all projects, which is typically what I want. So we call this one Tone of Balance. Uh, and whereas project is, um, is just for the project itself. So let's call this one Tone of Balance Control. Save. We have it here. Once we have that there, we go into key commands. Down to workspaces and then we have workspace 3. It doesn't name it here however you can tell that it's workspace 3 because they're listed here so workspace 3 is this one here. So we can assign it, assign the key command, done. So now that we've saved it let's close this, let's do something completely different like bring up the the mixer here, let's put that there now we can do shift O, which is the key command that we saved it as. And there we go. Back to the project and back to tonal balance being in focus. So you can do that with whatever you want. I recommend using it with your reference plugins. Um, yeah, set them up. You can set them up however you want. So you can have tonal balance here and span down here. You can have a screen full of reference plugins, however many that you like and then you press the key command and you will load up essentially your reference window. I think it's um, invaluable for being able to quickly flick back and forward between a fixed view and having reference plugins very quickly available on key command. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. I hope that helped and I'll see you again next week. Bye.